what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel welcome back to the another video and i'm using ios 18.6 from three days now and as you know there is a mixed reaction from you people some people are happy with the update some people are not happy with the update some people are facing battery draining issues and more stuff i do have some comments regarding overheating too so in this video i want to talk about how the update is going on so far after three days i will be showing battery stats and more so without any further delay let's get dive into this video and see how the things are going so far and in the end of this video i will be sharing a couple of tips and tricks to enhance the battery life so get into the settings let the battery stats load by going over here let the battery stats load as you can see now as you can see a straight line over here it's a pretty much straight line there is a couple of percent drop but that's a pretty much a straight line which means there is no battery draining at all which is a really really nice thing now if i get into the last 10 days now this is the day when i was using i was 18.6 for the very first day i guess and i got like a decent screen on time it was 5 hours 16 minutes for using around 90 percent and during this time i used different applications like youtube and some other apps as you can see i was also testing out the gaming performance that was really really good now if i get into any other day maybe this day where I use 50% of my device and I got 3 hours and 1 minute screen on time which means if I use 100% on that day I will be getting around 6 hours of screen on time that is again really really decent if I go over here maybe today I didn't use my phone much I use like around 25 to 30 percent and I got 5 1 hour and 35 minute screen on time which is okay because I didn't use my phone much but I will be using it more and I will be making another video but this is like a a battery life after a three days of usage and i can say it's a decent battery life for me things are quite decent they are not as bad as people are talking about um okay so if i get into the geek match over here like get to the cpu benchmark cpu history i did run the geek match multiple time and this one is the latest one i got 1335 on a single core while 2850 on a multi-core if i show you the single core with the average iphone 10 score I am getting better scores on 18.6 which is a good sign over here if I get into the multi core over here I am also getting a bit higher score than the average one on 18.6 which is again a good sign so in terms of scores I am getting a decent score if we get to the GPU benchmark I am um, into the GPU history again I got 9363 GPU metal score that is way higher than the average one which means on paper 18.6 is performing quite well um, which is a really really good sign now since people are having issues now if i talk about that you can do multiple things you can do some tips and tricks to enhance the overall performance so if you talk about what you can do is you can get into the settings you can get into the privacy and security and over here you can play with different things that you can turn off the tracking as you can see i have turned off the tracking for every other application you can go all the way down into the analytics and improvement turn off all the settings from here to go back from here get into the apple advertising turn it off from here to go back from here get into the journaling suggestions turn it off too as you can see you can do more stuff like if i go, go back over here and go into the notification you can also customize the notification according to your choice now whenever you get any notification it uses a lot of different uh, processes in the background that can drop a bit a battery too so as you can see most of the apps notification are off for me so i just keep the notification on that are most important for me so you can customize the notification according to your choice these are some of the things some of the tips that can help you to improve the battery life here is a, another important thing to understand that battery is not gonna get better overnight after following these steps it is gonna take a couple of days to get better but if you want me to make a video about how you can downgrade or something like that let me know in the comment section below and yeah, that's all from this video. I hope to get you guys in the next one. Until then, take care. Peace out.